Hi, this is Onyx from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another record to play for you. Today's record is The Lion and the Donkey from 1978. So let's get started. He had a little garden where he grew his food, and he had a donkey to help bring firewood from the nearby forest. The man worked in the garden all day, and in the evening, he would sit and read the writings of wise and holy men. Long, long ago, in a faraway land, there lived a holy the animals he was a friend this kind and holy man and in that far away far away land this happened long ago this kind man's faith in his As the man was working in his garden, he heard a great roaring. And there, coming toward him, he saw a fierce lion. The man was frightened and wanted to run. Then he saw that the lion was limping and in great pain. The man forgot that he was afraid and went to help the lion. He looked at the lion's paw and found a sharp thorn that had pierced into the flesh. The man gently removed the thorn, bathed the lion's paw, and bound it up carefully. And now, the lion was no longer fierce, but gentle. He was happy to feel well again, and he tried to show the man how grateful he was. The lion would look after the donkey each day when the donkey went to graze in the pasture and he would bring him safely home again. Come, little donkey, eat your fill. Our good man's waiting, waiting still. Come now, come now. he was in the pasture, the lion fell asleep. And while the lion slept, there came along the road a camel driver with his camels on the way to the market in the city. The camel driver saw the donkey with no one there watching him. Quietly, the camel driver stole up to the donkey, caught him, and led him away with his camels to the city. When the lion woke up, there was no trace of the donkey. The lion hunted and searched everywhere, but the donkey was not to be found. And at sundown, the lion returned alone and stood at the gate. When the man saw that the lion was alone, he thought, ah, the beast has eaten the poor donkey. It makes me very sad. Still, there was nothing to show that the lion had really eaten the donkey, and so the man let him stay. And in the days that followed, the lion did the donkey's work. But all the while, he kept looking for the donkey. Little And lo, the 
man heard sounds. And in the distance, he saw a camel driver and his camels returning from the city. And as they came nearer, he saw that the little donkey was with them. The lion let out a mighty roar. The camel driver ran for his life leaving the little donkey and the camels and all the goods he had bought in the city. And then the lion led the donkey and the camels home. And when the man saw them, he was happy again, and there was much rejoicing. And in that far away, far away land, this happened. So that was The Lion in the Donkey for 1978. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. And we have another video coming out real soon.